give you everything you need. So, girl, don't be shy. Oh, oh, I have a microphone right here. <laughs> what am I doing? She, it's in the, uh, she ruckus. Dead beat. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey everybody, welcome to The Big Llama Show. I'm The Big Llama, thank you so much for joining me. This is a movie reaction channel. On this channel, we react to movies, we watch movies together. I watch them, I give you my full commentary as I'm watching them. They're edited for YouTube, of course. And after the movie's done, I give you my immediate reaction and exactly what I'm thinking about the movie. And then we go into IMDb Trivia, where we can look up some juicy tidbits about the movie and learn a little bit more about the making of the movie. Uh, just that's the kind of stuff I like to do once I finish watching a movie. If you have not read the description or seen the thumbnail, you'll notice that we're watching the 1993 movie Menace to Society. Now, like other movie watches I've done, this one is actually different. I've actually seen this movie, but when this movie came out, I was pretty young. I think I was, I gotta do some math, carry the one. Uh, 12 or 13 when it came out and you know what I've noticed is that my sensibilities change like things that I noticed in movies really really young maybe I didn't even understand them so I like to go back sometimes and watch an old movie that I haven't seen now it's been many many moons because I'm an old man many many moons that I've seen this movie so I'm kind of excited now I do know the premise and I think I know how it ends I remember how it ends but I want to know the nuances so I'm, I'm actually watching it with a fresh perspective with you know uh, experience with filmmaking type eyes that you know I've seen some things and now that I have my reaction channel I get to just watch movies and guess what I'm watching this movie tonight and I'm recording the reaction and we're gonna go with it guys before we get to that let's do the YouTube thing make sure you like and subscribe make sure you uh, you know that helps support the channel um, when you subscribe you you get to know when I post videos it helps the YouTube algorithm it's free to do do it just do it just get, get it over with hit the subscribe button right now stop no, don't stop watching the video. Keep watching the video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, or we'll look around and see if you like anything else. If you like the shirts I wear, this is the Big Llama Original Blackout shirt. If you like this shirt, uh, I have a merch store, you can go check that out. Before we get started on the movie watching experience, I always tell you, make sure you have your high quality H2O. And tonight's bubbly water of choice is pineapple coconut, the greatest. The greatest of the bubbly waters, pineapple coconut. Take it in, enjoy. <laughs> All right, I can't wait to get started. I can't wait to come watch this movie. Hope you enjoy the reaction. Uh, again, this is a Hughes Brothers film, Menace to Society. I can't wait to get into it. I want to see what I missed when I was young and now what I can see. And the other part I love to, is to point out when actors, like at, now that I've seen many, many movies, I like to point out the actors that I've seen. It's such a fun time. Join me. Let's go. Uh, Menace to Society. Here we go. Hell no. Nah, she going to be at the motherfucking party, nigga. Uh, young Lorenz Tate. You ain't got to be creeping. I don't know why you trying to act like you cleaning up. Hey, look, bitch, stop following me around this motherfucker. You know, every time I'm in a convenience store, I, I kind of, not that I have I this profiling, but some. I always feel like like they're watching me. Go ahead and give me that. Oh, I think they're watching everybody, but I know I'm not going to steal anything, but I always kind of feel like, I, <laughs> like, like I'm guilty. You not to drink a beer in store. Hey, man, I'm going to pay you. I never could drink a 40 only because it gets warm. Like I need, I need cold beer. Yes, hey. And if you can't drink the forty fast hey, man, enough, it gets I'm warm. Won't you calm your motherfucking nerves? Damn, hurry up and go. I don't want any trouble. Just get out. I feel sorry for your mother. Oh no. What you say about my mama? The fuck you say about my mama? I don't want any trouble. Just get out. Don't I say so. Oh man. Oh man. This, this is classic filmmaking right here. hurry up! So you ain't gonna talk shit now, are you? Where all the money at, man? Fuck. It's funny like that in the hood sometimes. You never knew what was gonna happen or when. Just a great After that I knew it was gonna be a long summer. Just a great character introduction. You get to know 
Old Dog's character, um, Kane's character. I know that we don't know the names just yet, but I know the, the names. Perfect character introduction. Now you get a contrast to these two guys. Um, just, I mean, just a just a just a way to immerse you right into the movie. I just, I just, I think in the '90s was like a renaissance of these, you know, uh, you know, African American and black movies. Just, it was just such a a wonderful time to see the stories coming out. Brand new filmmakers. I think you had. Um, the Hughes brothers, you had the Hudlins, you had you had John Singleton. Um, I mean, it was I would say it's like a renaissance. They had just an explosion. You had now even on the comedy front, you had the Wayans brothers. Um, you know, you had the House Party movies. You had all of these great movies featuring black characters and black actors that were just telling stories. Do the right thing was released. Spike Lee. I mean, I just enjoyed that era and that time. Now, again, I will admit, because I was so young watching these movies, I don't think I understood um, a lot of the themes. And so I'm, I'm kind of excited to re, you know, to explore some of these all, you know, again. So, um, so again, just, just awesome, awesome time for movies and cinema and really getting a different perspective. All right, I digress. Let's get back to the movie. My father sold dope. Oh my God, Samuel L. Jackson? was a heroin addict. Watts, late 70s. The narration is a great touch. Just to keep the story moving. Ooh. I remember that in, in youth parties. Getting a little sip of beer. From my uncles or from somebody. At the party. Uh, that's a little irresponsible. I love the use of color in this movie for sure. The deep reds right now with a little hint of blue. I would say the spot's hot. That's why it's red, but I don't know. It's about time you gave me my money. I told you I ain't had your money yet, man. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck you, fuck you. Man, I'm going to fucking Ron O'Neill or something. Who's Ron O'Neill? Talk about I better pay her. What you going to do? Don't say what. Oh. What am I? Oh man. Suck my dick. <laughs> Samuel L. Jackson. You know, he was he wasn't a big actor. I think at this time. But man, he can soak up the screen. I mean he just I got used to it Captures your attention. Look at this. All right, fast forward to 1993. So Kane is now grown. Hold on, you gotta listen to that. Man, that is a nice sound, man. I love music that had that high-pitched squeal back in the 90s. Ice Cube used it a lot. Man, look at the styles of the 90s. What about? Half of oh, those cross colors, man! I remember those cross colors from the 1990s. <laughs> man, big wheels were the shit back in the day. I forgot Jada Pinkett Smith was in this. I did, I did have a little attraction for Jada Pinkett, but man, that's a big deal to graduate high school. It's an accomplishment. It's a milestone. You know, I like the fade to blacks in the movie. Sort of cut the scene. It's just a classic. Got them DOC hats on. They got a tape. They got a tape. I forgot. Old dog kept the tape. There you go, Lorenz Tate, old dog. That, that's, that, go, that goes to the psychotic level of, of old dog. Like, he's just playing the tapes. Hey, that's MC8. I remember that guy. Hey, Rax, MC8, man. Oh. Always in the middle of things. Compton G. <laughs> now, old dog. 
was the craziest nigga alive. America's nightmare. Young, yep. black, and didn't give a fuck. Boy, well, you got the goddamn hood on your head, look like the Green Reaper. It's cold out here, my brother. Man, you better get your Salaikum Salam ass up off this box and pass me a motherfucking brew. Sharif was an ex knucklehead turned Muslim. Oh, he was Sharif, so happy to yeah. be learning something he liked. The soundtrack to this movie was just insane. I think I had the soundtrack on the uh, on CD. <laughs> I didn't realize that at this point they stay actually separated. Got too short bump in this guy. He's bumping that T-shirt. Who got some snaps on the petrol? Who got some snaps on the petrol? I used to have the car, uh, and so I'd drive people around, but I'd be like, you got to pay money. You got to pay me some dollars. And I would say, who's got the snaps on the petrol? I'd always say that. Crenshaw. I used to, again, I would imagine that this, this Crenshaw was so, was such a hot spot. And I've, I've never been there. And I've, when I go to California, I want to, I want to, I want to visit. Oh man. Get your ass up out the car, nigga. Get the fuck out. Break yourself, nigga. Get your hey, motherfucking nigga, ass up out the car. All right, nigga, chill. Oh no. Nah. Get up out the car. What right. do you what do you do in that scenario? Get like up. you right, tell him to get out the car. Break yourself, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I got you. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. oh shit, that's cat. Oh man, that that imagery right there. Oh, he's just shaking. Oh, Kane got to hit too. Come on, man, we can't leave him like this. It's not right, all right? It's not right. Hey, wait, right. tell me, get him in the car, man. Come on, man. The camera work is is like shaky cam documentary POV style right here. Bitch, fuck the balls. We need a doctor. He's bleeding to death over there. Oh man. So oh, effective. So effective. I got blasted in the show. What you doing here? Are you surprised or is it that you don't want to see me? This might seem oh, weird, but shit. I think a lot First of Jada Pinkett's shot. performance is in the you eyes. Like she uses her eyes very effectively in sort of communicating the, the a feeling and the effect. I think I've seen It's a Wonderful Life twice in all the years that it's played. First time I watched it, I was blown away. Something about them elders talking to you. You need to listen. And what I want to talk to you too about. And the old folks talk. Trouble that you've been getting into. This is knowledge dropped Boys, right here. The Lord didn't put you here. Exodus 20:13. Thou shalt not kill. I don't think God really cared too much about us. Well, he wouldn't have put us here. I mean, look where we stay at. I think I think this is the only time that old dog before. goes by his actual name, Lord Kevin. Don't care about who's got the biggest house. There's a one ear. And I, I think it's up. a parallel, but like you can see the, the imagery of religion behind him. Do you care whether you live or die? I don't know. Come on, man, let's bail. Come on. That's a pretty. That's a pretty good question. Like, you gotta have a healthy oh, fear of, on, of death, you know? Oh, oh! <laughs> you would sound like a little bitch, man. I'm gonna fuck you, man. He that was crying. Good. He was. He and was you yelling. Swear y'all so damn hot. Stay up, kid. Shit, nigga, that wasn't me. Trying to act all caring and sensitive. Yeah, that was you. Boom! Oh, yeah, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, if you knew who they were, you spot them, but I, I, I didn't realize it's too short was in the movie. Look, nigga, I told you to stop showing the fucking tape. And why you keep on bitching about my tape, This song is bumping. Damn, man, shit Love and happiness, happen. baby. All right? All right? I'll probably get a YouTube Damn. strike on we this. We just gonna know what, nigga? You act like a little bitch right now. You act real paranoid and shit. That is these... Now it has to. I got to stop. It has to be said, the actor who plays Kane, I don't know if he's done any other movies, 
but he is not at the same level as Lorenz Tate. And Lorenz Tate playing old dog is a cut above, way above this guy. And his just a, Kane's delivery and his sort of uh, his speech and everything is not is not on par with this movie. And I think it is a weakness of of of, of this movie, but. I just got to say it because I've now watched now. And again, when, when I was young, I didn't think that anything of this. Um, I didn't think it was bad acting. I didn't know what good acting or bad acting looked like. But now that I'm watching it, it he is per, his performance is not that great. Why are you wearing sunglasses at night? This ain't this ain't the eighties. Y'all niggas, hurry up! Go in there, book them niggas, and get the fuck out. Don't be playing. And, and MCA is a rapper, so his acting can be. Uh... Oh shit! Oh. He, em he emptied the clip on that dude. Again, fade to black. Leave it to the imagination. Go to the next scene. Got R. Kelly playing in the background. I know he's not popular now, but back in the '90s, man, he was he was all over soundtracks, all over the place. He was huge in the '90s. I love the I love the energy in each of the scenes. There's just stuff happening all over. One time, baby. Why'd he hit that post? This parallels, obviously, you know, him as a youth with Parnell. Look, it ain't loaded. What the hell are you doing? I don't want my son learning to pull drive by. Yeah, mama. Anthony, get over here. Get over here. If I ever catch you with a gun in your hand, I will break your tail. You got that? You should break his tail right now. Get there up. it is. Get up. If it wasn't for him, my black ass would be dead by now. I'm just paying him back. You know what? Fuck Pernell, because you don't owe him shit. Exactly. You got a future. It's just up to you sometimes. Oh, really? Give me the motherfucking radio. I remember back in the 90s, you had, you had the radios that pull out. You pull out the entire deck. People were stealing them. And then you had the face plates that came out. That was back in the youth, my youth, man. That's a great transition and creative angle right there. For sure. K9 units, you're done, man. Just, just. Man, you got this dude lurking in the shadows. It's a hell of an interrogation right now. It's my boy Bill Duke. Bill Duke in the movie. Those camera angles and the rotating around the room. I'm gonna ask you some real simple questions and I want some real simple answers. The shoot. Wow, I didn't realize he did a long after take on this one. After, after I left, other people was coming in. You know, fucked up, you know that, don't you? <laughs> I see what I'm saying. I, no, I... Without the tape, they had nothing. Yeah, motherfucker, right back on your ass. I hear it in the bush. I like that car with those hydraulics. And that red interior, man, that is sweet. You going to Kansas with this fool? Yeah, Kane, you should come too, man. I mean, you're not doing nothing out here but getting yourself in a lot of trouble. Sometimes you just need to change the scenery. I think Ronnie got a lock on his fool, what I think. Whatever. Here, put that in for me. You better go somewhere with that black power shit. You know that shit gets no play in this ride. Uh, so what's up? Y'all gonna kick it? Oh, man, I gotta go scoop up one of my kids. All right, man. I saw my brother. Stacy's got kids. Not a surprise. Hey, what the fuck is that, man? Get this shit out my face. Hey, man, it's a ladies' man. Shit, man. Get your ass on the front seat, man. 
man. Some gold, gold rims, baby. Oh, caught this dude slipping. I want your motherfucking Dayton's and your motherfucking stereo. And I take a double burger with cheese. What? Let me have a double burger. Uh, some fries. What the fuck I said with cheese, nigga? Hey, yo, uh, make that a uh, double burger with cheese. All right, this scene was memorable for me because obviously as a 13-year-old, I don't have no idea what the hell's going on, but it was so stylized. I knew they were drugs, but I didn't know exactly what drugs. <laughs> Cocaine, crack, or heroin, I didn't know what, what the hell he was doing. I know he's cooking it, though. So he's making crack rocks. Oh... That song right there, Computer Love, baby. Love that song. Computer Love was my jam. Man, th this guy right here, this this actor, Rock, that's Dutton, I think. It, this guy is a master class of acting, activist. Uh, his show on, uh, on, I think it was on the, uh, I forgot what network it was on, it was just groundbreaking. He was in Rudy, he was in a bunch of movies, but man, I love this guy as an actor. I think this is one of my favorite scenes because it has him as, you know, uh, it, it has him as in, in the main focus of the scene. But I just love, I love his delivery. God, it's it's hard to watch to Kane act against. Yeah, but against this this guy who's who's just amazing. I don't know about no Kansas. It's powerful speech right here. Being a black man in America isn't easy. The hunt is on, and you're the prey. Man, that's. Oh. All I'm saying is... Look at that, man. He just controls, commands the, the, the presence. Survive. All right? Hey, man, this motherfucking hood is hot. Are you kidding me? Are you boys love me? That's all. Just because I'm a black man, that's why I'm a black man. Come on, beat your motherfucking ass. Damn. Oh, man. Man, they're just beating these dudes. Yeah, invite to Atlanta. I mean, get out. I mean, get out. You, you ain't change doing the scenery. Shit here. The exactly. Way I see it, you'll be dead or you'll be in jail. He's got to contemplate a lot. I, I mean, got to thinking about all the things I've done on the streets. So a lot of the characters are going to be leaving. I want you better go ahead on with that. Uh, could you please save some beer for somebody else? Nigga, you ain't Kane. Stop drinking up all the beer. You're all on his nutsack. <laughs> the wax in the house. Hey, that's yo yo. And the hood so, rats in the house. You got many times I gotta tell you, don't smoke that crap in the house when Anthony's home. Stop, baby. Oh, no. How you doing, baby? I'm fine. Come in. Come in. Come on. Oh, he's. Chauncey. Chill out. Chauncey's been oh, drinking. I'm just joking, man. You know you my nigga, K. Why are you tripping? You ain't doing jack shit here. K, why don't you just come with me? You got a decision to make, my friend. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna go. He was just trying to be a pain in the ass. Hey, hey, that's not cool. Oh, R. Kelly's kicking in. He's all over this soundtrack. I'm turning him down to for two reasons. Copyright. And copyright. <laughs> I can sing. You can? Mm-hmm. Give you everything you need. So girl, don't be shy. Oh, just oh, oh! I have a microphone right here. <laughs> what am I doing? It's getting spicy on the screen. It's getting spicy. Please, I don't want to do this anymore. Right now, give me that honey love, that honey love. 
Auntie, come on. I know. That motherfucking cane be standing Just, in the way. Just, can you just sit down? Let me get that. Give me your gun. Oh, what for? Give me the motherfucking Man, get him on. Oh. Oh. Hey, stop it. It's not necessary. You stop it. Oh, you see the kid in the background? I didn't realize that. Oh, man, he gave Chauncey the hurt business. I'm pregnant. What the fuck you telling me for? What? What? So you just gonna dog me? Look, I, I ain't got time for this. All right. Peace. Yeah, listen, you gotta step up your obligations, man. You, you made a mistake. You gotta step up, man. I hey. bet you Kane won't be laughing after five. Oh, get a hold of this motherfucking tape. You bet that shit, nigga. Oh, come on. That cop is a male model. He's terrible at acting. She's really over him. I'm, I know it. The baby? Doesn't come see him that often, huh? How you doing, man? How come you ain't never come to see me? Yeah, he's repenting. I mean, he's reformed. Right. Slanging and gangbanging ain't, ain't all what it's cracked up to be. Well, he gave his blessing. Oh man. Who wanna know? Yeah, and I think you better watch who the fuck you <coughs> oh, oh, damn. Man, just <laughs> stopping a mud hole in this guy. Oh. Ribs, everything busted. So, moving day. Getting out of there. Why is he looking around like that? One action and another reaction. It's terrible. They're loading up the bullets. Oh, they got an Uzi. I love the stillness of like this location and the ominous things going on around it. Man, I love the zo the slow mo zoom right here. Shit, it's about to go down. Again, the stillness of the scene, there's just no, no sound. Not even the car. It's just there. Look at this guy making that crazy ass face. Here we go. Yo, what's up now, partner? Oh. Stay, Stay down. Oh, can. Some effective switch for sure. Oh, I remember this. Oh, poor Sharif, man. Bystander. Damn, Sharif. Oh my God. Get off me! I gotta get Anthony. Get up! Yeah, I, man. Go get some fucking help, nigga! Get some fucking help! Shit! Get, fucking help. Shit. get the fuck out of here! After stomping out his cousin like that, I never thought he'd come back like this. Blasting. Like I said, it was funny. Life like that flashes. Sometimes. These are the flashes. You never knew what was going to happen. I guess in the end, it all catches up with you. My grandpa asked me one time if I care whether I live or die. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, I do. Now it's too late. Bam. The Hughes Brothers story by Alan Albert Hughes, Tiger Williams. What a powerful movie. Um, definitely not the fairy tale ending that you wanted. And not that you should expect it. It's a movie about the grittiness of real life. And so getting what you think you want as a happy ending, letting them all get out, letting, you know, achieving the future just wasn't, wasn't going to happen. But that's the movie. No end credit scenes. Let's talk about it. All right, guys. Well, there's my reaction to Menace to Society, 1993 movie. Uh, again, I had seen this before. 
But I was about 12 or 13 years old when this movie came out. I did not, I did not understand the themes. I really didn't understand the drug game and the things that, that were occurring. Um, I mean, I knew they were selling drugs and I knew that there was that element, but I just didn't know to what level, to what extent. Um, you know, now that I'm older, I can see what consequence looks like and I know what consequence looks like. So, you know, understanding now the choices that the characters made and how we arrived to the ending, um, you know, makes this movie a lot more impactful. Again, as a youth watching this, I was just fascinated just by, you know, I was into hip hop and I was into to the music and everything. And so I, I was more enthralled and I was in the reaction to about, you know, the hip hop artists that were in this movie. There was a bunch of them that were either had a cameo or had a significant role. And so, I, when I watched it as a kid, I, I liked the movie. I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was a sad movie. I thought, it, you know, it ended on a very down note. But I didn't understand the social commentary that was behind it. So the the, the things that you see back then in 1993 are some of the same things you see today. So the movie is still relevant from that perspective, even though the technology's changed and it's been quite some time since that era, it's still the same thing. We still have crime issues. We still have police issues. We still have all kinds of things. So the movie still speaks to those things. And I, I enjoyed it very much. Um, like I was saying in the end of the review, you're not going to get the fairy tale ending. I think that's the that's the, the the Hughes brothers were trying to send that message is that not everybody makes it out, not everybody does the right thing, not everybody you know is going to have the fairy tale ending, and it's not a fairy tale because that's not real life. And so you know, yes, they were on a path. He could have gotten out. They were getting to that point, but doing dirt and getting you know caught up in the revenge and everything else is exactly the cycle that he's trying to break and he gets stuck in it so um does it hold up today absolutely it holds up today um i will say i will say and i i i want to i want to acknowledge a couple of things that i saw and it's not that i'm nitpicking the movie i really am um you know giving it a fair critique now, as an older, you know, uh, now that I'm older and I'm watching this movie, I want to say that that uh, Tyrion Turner, which he, which he played the character of Kane, I did not like his performance, a and I think he definitely brings down the level a couple of bars. Um, I'm talking about purely from an acting perspective. It was fine, it worked, but he definitely had some struggle, at least in my opinion, in delivering those lines. But Lorenz Tate is old dog. Oh my God, Tour de Force, great performance. Samuel L. Jackson in some, somewhat of a cameo. Um, again, steals the show in the scenes that he's in. Um, the, the, one, the one guy that I, I really, really enjoy is Charles S. Dutton's character as Mr. Butler. Charles S. Dutton is, is to me, one of the most amazing actors that we have around today. I don't know why he doesn't do more movies. The films that he was in are iconic. They're classic. They're, he, he, every time he he's in a movie, he elevates the performance of the other actors around him. The scene where he's talking to the kids and trying to deliver the message, talking about the hunt is on, is, is something that I, I love. I love that scene, and I really, really enjoyed it. Now, the other guy that I really like was Chauncey, who is played um, by Clifton Powell. Howell. he was pinky he was in a bunch of movies and he's a very versatile actor um but he definitely uh and he was in house party um definitely a guy that when i see him on the screen i i, I pay attention so again they had a lot of great performances um had a lot of great actors and a lot of great cameos but but again um the, the you know again Kane the the, the, the actor Tyrion Turner I just didn't like his performance but that's okay that's okay all right so honestly it's a you know it's a classic movie I enjoyed it it holds up today I understand the themes and it makes sense now as an adult versus me as a 13 year old watching this movie so for sure I I think it stands. The test of time it is worthy of another rewatch and i can't wait to get into the trivia so let's get to the imdb trivia let's see if we can get some juicy tidbits from this movie here comes the trivia here we go all 
All right, this trivia. Let's get right to it. Uh, it says here Tupac Shakur was supposed to originally play Sharif, uh, but he got fired and was in a physical fight with uh, director Alan Hughes. And so Shakur was was uh, charged with assault and battery. He did serve 15 days in jail for that uh, particular offense. He did uh, appear on Yo MTV Raps and he did brag about the altercation. This is the feature film debut for Lorenz Tate um, as Old Dog. Uh, he's gone on to to do have a prolific um, you know acting career, and so I'm I'm so I'm so excited when somebody can be a newcomer and really knock it out of the park. It was a believable character. It was a believable role, and he was menacing and scary and psychotic all at the same time. So I really really enjoyed that. Now old dog was the craziest nigga alive. Now, New Line Cinema uh, did mandate that they had to have a platinum rapper uh, to be cast in the film. I believe MC Ren from NWA was supposed to play AWACS, but it ultimately went to MC8. And MC8 had did a great job uh, being uh, the character of AWAX had a lot of crazy one-liners and uh, really was I, I in my opinion the the guy you would focus in on uh, and, you know when he was on screen very captivating great job this is always interesting this is always an interesting one um, much like Scarface and other movies that I enjoy, the F bomb is uh, is dropped quite a bit in this movie. It says here the, the you know the F bomb is actually used or its derivatives are used about 305 times during the course of the film. Uh, not quite Scarface levels, but effective enough. Oh, I love this, especially when it when it hits video games. So uh, according to this, it says here Clifton Powell, who uh, would play Chauncey, MC8, and Samuel L. Jackson have later voiced major antagonists in the 2004 popular video game Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, which Menace to Society served as one of its main inspirations. So you get to hear some of the, the guys that played those characters in the video game, and that's always fun. This is interesting. You would think it's, you know, again, independent filmmaking. Um, it says here 50% of the crack is real in the scenes where Kane is seen cutting it with a razor blade, according to the Hughes brothers. Gentlemen, what brings me to my next point? Don't smoke crack. Yeah, real crack on the set, and they're cutting it. I don't know if they cooked it on the set, but damn, that's crazy. This is interesting, and we'll probably wrap it up with this one and probably one more. Um, Kane was originally a lot more violent in the original script. This was later changed so the audiences could identify with Kane a little bit more, a little bit more humanity to him. Uh, this is it, this, we're gonna finish up on this. It, it was filmed in 33 days. This masterpiece of a, of a movie was filmed in 33 days, independent film, financed by the Hughes brothers, and um, I, I, that's just amazing. Again, that speaks to the renaissance and the time uh, of just the cinema, that the, the, the independent filmmakers that were coming out at the time. Um, it was a revolution and I enjoyed every minute of it. All right, guys, that's my reaction. That's my commentary. That's the trivia. Everything is done for Menace to Society, the 1993 film. I enjoyed watching this again with you guys. It is definitely worth the rewatch. And I will definitely tell you that it's something that I did not understand in the past. And now I understand it a lot more. And I appreciate it that much more. It does hold up even all of these years later. Guys, if you like these types of videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure that you hit that bell notification so you know when we post videos. I wanna thank everybody so much for supporting the channel. Thank you so much for being here and watching these movies with me. I'm the Big Llama, this is the Big Llama Show, and guys, remember, be kind, rewind, it's movie night, and we're gonna see you on the next one. Yeah, I tell her, baby, you're the one for me. Never too, unless you're telling me you feel it too.